Okay guys, today I'm going to talk about waves. Okay, pretty basic, but here's a wave. Now, uh, the amplitude of a wave is from the, the peak here, so this we're going to call the peak, to the, the medium's rest position. If there's no wave traveling through, what would the medium be doing? Would it be at rest? So this is the kind of rest position. Now, the wavelength is the distance uh, between two consecutive waves. So you could go, if you imagine, well, this wave is going to kind of carry on. You could go from peak to peak. That would be a wavelength. Uh, if we carried on down with this one, well, there to there, that would also be a wavelength. But also just as much, you know, from there to there, that is also lambda. This symbol here is the symbol for wavelength. Now wavelength, it's a length, so it's in meters. Likewise, also the amplitude as well. It can be here as well. The amplitude is also in meters. Uh, this here is called the, the trough. Frequency. It's measured in hertz or per second. So hertz has got this symbol and then per second s to the minus one. And what is frequency? Well it's the number of waves per second. So if you had, well here we've got uh, one, two, three, well three in a bit. Let's say you had three waves in a second, then you'd have a frequency of three hertz. Now time period is often given the symbol T. Uh, its units are seconds and it's defined as the time for one wave. And there's a link between frequency and time period and that is that frequency is equal to one over the time period. As long as we're talking about uh, one wave. If you've got the time for two waves, then instead of putting one, you'd have two waves and then the time for two waves. Or if you've got ten waves, then the time for ten waves. It'll give you the frequency. Now, wave speed, that's the velocity uh, of the wave. It's measured in meters per second. And you can just think, how quickly is this wave moving forwards? And there's a link between velocity, frequency, and wavelength. And if you think, well, wavelength has got the units meters. Frequency has got the units, well, it's got the units hertz, but that really means per second s to the minus one. And if you think about the units meters times s to the minus one, that's meters per second, which is the same units as frequency. So this is the uh, velocity, frequency, wavelength triangle. If you want to find out what the wave speed is, you do frequency times by wavelength. If a question is last asking, well, what's the frequency? You do the wave speed divided by the wavelength. And maybe a question is asking for the wavelength. Well, wave speed divided by the frequency.